Okay, welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. I would like to invite you to book a personal private session with me with your own reading at www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link for your convenience to my website below this video in the description box below. Um, also, I want to invite you to follow me with my other social media sites. Um, there you will also be able to get different types of readings that I don't do here on YouTube, um, on my blog, um, readings that I do on Instagram, as well as other like offers, deals, and promotions that I offer along the way. So if that interests you, you can find that information in the description box below this video as well. We're going to go ahead and get into the reading and this reading is pretty interesting. Um, because it entails the, uh, the zodiac sign of Scorpio. However, it's very specific um, to those of you who are sun sign Scorpio with Scorpio rising, sun sign Scorpio with Pisces rising, and sun sign Scorpio with Capricorn rising. Now, in order to know exactly what your rising sign is, you would need to know your date of birth and your time of birth and then put it into the um, astrology chart, you know, maker of your choice, which you can find several, you know, just by Googling on the um, internet and being able to enter that information in and then you'll be able to calculate what your rising sign is. Okay, so these messages are very specific to those three Scorpio um, sun sign individuals and those particular rising signs. So once again, it's Scorpio sun with Scorpio rising, Scorpio sun with Pisces rising, and Scorpio sun with Capricorn rising. Now these messages were all over the place. So like I said, this is a pretty interesting reading because the messages were all over the place. There's just a lot of different messages coming through, but it, I you know presume it's because it's taken into consideration different individuals. Okay. Um, so some of the initial messages that came through like the preliminary messages um when i just pulled a few cards just to see um to clarify the energies in regards to um who i was doing a reading for um i i got a, a lot of um like medi mediating type of energy or like intercessor or middleman um type of energy so I feel like that is the preliminary messages, um, what I'm picking up. I feel for some of you, okay, so bear with me because like I said, this this reading so far, messages have been kind of all over the place. Um, so take what applies to you and if it doesn't apply to you, then it, it doesn't apply to you. So like I said, there's definitely like an intermediary energy that I keep picking up um, as the preliminary message. Um, for some of you, I do feel there's this energy that you are trying to choose between two individuals, okay? Now, this could be in three different instances for some of you. For some of you, you're trying to pick and decide between two individuals who you feel you want to either collaborate with or to maybe um, bring on as like your... Uh, employees in some sense um or to like maybe contract or do some type of work with um for others of you i'm hearing this may this could be a client like so either you want to take this person on as a client or you want to maybe become the client of these two individuals and you're trying to figure out like who do you go with that's one instance now for some of you when it comes to like a business that you own and you're trying to think of who you want to either contract or employ um in some sense i feel like for some of you it's strictly business for others of you this is because you're actually interested romantically in this person so you're just trying to you know um make it easier for you to approach this individual and then for others of you some of others of you um it's some of a mix of both it's like work and pleasure okay and then in another type of situation that I'm picking up, um, it still re is related to work, but for some of you, this involves you working with someone who could be like a family member 
and giving this opportunity to a family member or for you giving it to someone who you feel is like a stranger okay so someone who you don't know you're not familiar with and I feel like some of you are going back and forth between that okay um, in another instance and in scenario I'm picking up some of you have a situation where you have two individuals um, that you feel like you're caught in the middle and they these people don't get along so for some of you it could be a situation where um, I'm hearing a mother and a daughter so for some of you Scorpios you have a mother and a daughter that does not get along now this could be your mother and your daughter or this could be maybe another family members mother and daughter or maybe you are some type of counselor or somewhat that you're dealing with this particular scenario and for whatever reason if you are a counselor or um, some type of professional in that sense where you you offer guidance or counseling type of um, coaching type of energy this obviously must be some type of significant or prominent um, daughter mother duo that it's coming up in the reading for you or it's, it's it's very significant in your life as well too maybe this whoever this dynamic is but for others of you it could also just be a situation where this could be two friends that you're caught in between the middle of um, for others of you, this could just be another type of relationship between family members um, that are beefing, I'm getting. And then for some of you as well, too, it could be a situation where this could be like a love interest of yours and then a family member that has some type of um, qualm. But it seems like in this particular scenario that we're talking about, you seem to be caught in the middle and you're trying to like bring these two energies together and I feel like um, it's been very challenging it's been very difficult because I feel like there's a lot of hurt there's a lot of emotional um, energy here that I'm picking up so I feel like a lot of feelings and emotions are involved in this situation which is you know kind of tough to work around um, because I, I feel like it's just kind of difficult to get these people to see eye to eye because like I said I feel like people's feelings have been really hurt in this situation so you could be trying to like bring these two people together and mend some type of situation or you just kind of feel stuck between these two because you could care deeply about both of these parties um, however it relates to you but I just feel like it's very challenging to bring these two energies together because like I said I feel like there's a lot of um, emotional hurt emotional baggage that really pertains to past situations and events that's kind of um, getting in the way of these two people being able to like drop their guards and actually you know see eye to eye with each other now in another instance I do feel this is someone um, where it's work related matters and I feel like you Scorpio would be trying to mend a connection between two like work associates or something of that sort and I feel like you're trying to get these two individuals to like work together or to like be best friends um I feel like you're trying to get them to see yeah I feel like you're trying to get these individuals to be friends but I also feel like there's a sense of you wanting these individuals to like work together and I feel like this is not going to work is what I'm getting if this is a work situation where you're trying to get two people to work together like literally in a business um, it's not going to work because I feel like these two people either they're too similar and that's not a good thing um, which is causing neither one of them to want to work together because I just feel like they're too similar but they're different at the same time so it's not enough similarity to try to bridge some type of connection between these two also, I was picking up a very strong Sagittarius Cancer energy. So Sagittarius and Cancer energies are quincux to each other, which means it's a very challenging type of energy um, if these individuals have very significant placements of that in either of their charts. And I feel like it, it brings up an energy of like polar opposites where it's very hard for these two type of energies to relate. Now. That's astro astrologically wise. I just feel as well too, these people just genuinely don't have anything in common. And I feel it's almost like apples to oranges and, or like apples to like pecans or something. Like, like I feel like it's two different type of energies that someone here is trying to like force a connection or force a friendship um, because it's going to either benefit you in some sense or it's going to just like, someone's just trying to get a business type of deal or a like, maybe it'll make the work environment better but I just feel 
it's best to allow these individuals to just be cordial with each other versus trying to make these people work together because i just feel like the more you try to force and push these two people to work together the more it's going to just repel and um not work in this situation i, I just kind of get the energy of magnets it's like for two magnets to come together it's like the north pole energy and the south pole energy of the two magnets have to be you know working in that situation so they can attract to each other however in this instance i feel these two people are like i said they're very either very similar um in some type of form format that it actually repels them so this could be like you if you hold you hold two magnets and you try to put like both the north pole and the north pole energies of two separate magnets together and you feel that that tension that resistance that force in between that is what i feel like is what someone here is trying to do between this dynamic and this work environment or this work energy this business energy whatever this is and it's just not going to work because because they're not meant to work together is what i'm getting okay um so regardless of whatever personal because i see these two individuals could have some like personal issues with each other besides that like these two individuals generally like genuinely just do not have anything in common and it's not going to work to try to put these two together they are best not um working together and that's fine like they don't have to be forced like i just feel like as long as they're cordial and they respect each other that should be the the goal not trying to make them be friends not trying to make them kiss and make up um or not trying to force them to like work on like some type of project together or something i don't know something of that energy is what i'm getting because it's not going to work i just feel like it's not going to be in the best interest or best favor of either one of these individuals they're not meant to work together in that sense okay um and I, i'm hearing stand alone so i feel like maybe these two individuals work like they can stand alone they don't have to come together um they they work best standing alone or they just work best not working with each other like some people just don't work together and that's totally fine um so i feel like that was a lot of the energies of someone trying to make a decision between two individuals that they want to deal with or work with or some type of energies with you know trying to mend some type of connection between some type of relationship that you're dealing with now i feel as well too maybe some of you strongly want to in the sense where it has to do with relatives of yours whether it's a mother daughter duo or it is some other type of relationship dynamic between two individuals who you are related to i do feel that maybe there is something that you are not saying um that you're dealing with which is the main reason why you could be trying to get these people to work together and i feel like maybe that's where you need to start versus um trying to mend something that may be kind of outside of your control or outside of the parameters of what can be um mended at this particular time it's not to say that those relationships will never be minute i just feel like at this particular time um you need to be maybe more honest and open about what you're actually dealing with um versus trying to take the spotlight off of the main reason why you have secret ulterior motives to try to get these people to work together so you might want to be honest um with these individuals okay that's where you might want to start and then let me see there's another group of you all that i was picking up on feeling some type of guilt and shame because in this particular scenario with you all it seems like you came in between someone's marriage or you came in between a very significant like relationship for some of you i definitely see um there was i'm hearing mirror magic some of you have done mirror magic because you wanted to be in the position of either someone's spouse okay there, there's an energy of you wanting to take the place of being the main primary spouse position in someone's life who already was in a significant relationship or they were already in a, a, a marriage okay and you did black magic to try to um 
break this relationship up and for some of you you definitely were successful with doing this but i feel like you're now dealing with the ramifications and the repercussions and consequences of this in several different manners particularly i do see health being impacted as well okay um i'm also seeing something pertaining to jail time as well too so i feel like for some of you you're dealing with that because of your um negative intentions and negative influences of wanting so bad to be in someone else's position okay i'm also picking up a sense as well too that outside of those of you who wanted to take the role of someone else's spouses i just see someone um here as well intervening in between the connection so you may have not wanted to necessarily be with whoever the person was that you intervened in the relationship with but you had some type of significant um desire to keep two people from coming together so there was something that you were benefiting in some type of way by meddling and intervening in a connection that was meant to be that's destined to be um i'm seeing like two individuals who are actually soulmates like true soulmates is what i'm getting that you um definitely have negatively intervened okay in a particular situation and i'm also just seeing you dealing with some type of negative ramifications along the lines of what i just stated I don't, i'm not going to get back into all of that again okay so moving on um i just shuffled some additional cards and then the same cards well some of the same cards came right back out again pertaining to um this meddling intervening energy for that group of you who that pertains to what i'm seeing is there definitely was black magic done in some form or some instance now if you follow me on my social media um sites well more specifically my instagram site i am very clear and very specific that you know black magic does not always include candles pots cauldrons spells and you know hocus pocus type of energy with someone stirring the pot saying you know boil boil toil in trouble type of stuff because I, I feel like that's what people like to think black magic can also be lying on someone slandering someone you know gossiping about someone um, black magic can also in include just simply someone praying negatively about someone or someone repeated repetitively which I would like to say those are affirmations when you repetitively ritualistically keep you know sending and projecting um, ill energy through your words towards another person you're using your words to harm another person to speak harm to speak ill over someone else okay that's a form of black magic because you know what you're doing you're, you're saying things harmfully to negatively impact someone this could also involve the energy of like going into a, a, a meditative state or using even visualization to see like imagining someone being um receiving some type of ill intent of whatever your desire is so some of you yes you have used black magic in the form of what initially comes to people mind with candles and going to a, a bruja or you know um, a high priestess of some sort or even you are a high priestess or a bruja doing this yourself okay um but like i said black magic can, can include those other things as well too that don't necessarily re require all of those other tools and resources and supplies especially if you're trying to be very covert about you know what you do okay and don't want anyone to know you know that you have negative wicked ill intent and ulterior motives so with that being said there has been black magic done in regards to the scenario that i'm speaking of in this instance where someone has intervened and negatively impacted a relationship or two people from coming together in that instance if you were the individual who wanted to get someone out of a relationship so that you could therefore get this person um to be with you in a relationship and that worked or it didn't work either either way if that relationship came to an end okay and even if it didn't just for the fact that you were pushing that agenda towards that connection if you're in this relationship with this person who you got with that you're not supposed to be with i see that coming to an end period 
it's going to come to an end as well as if you will have your own relationship that you were in and you were intervening in someone else's relationship or the coming together of another connection that was supposed to come together your relationship is about to end as well too is what i'm seeing i'm also seeing you not only you scorpio but you and all parties that were involved in this situation because it looks like it's you and it's multiple energies here okay so you and all parties that negatively interfered in someone's marriage and someone's relationship that they were in especially like i said with th this look like this was two individuals who was a divine soul true connection or the coming together of what was supposed to be this connection that was supposed to come into alignment with each other you and all those individuals are also going to experience negative ramifications because of your actions so that's what i'm picking up there's going to be negative consequences karma and ramifications for all parties involved okay and in some instances as well, for those of you who have been operating as a psychic, a medium, a high priestess, and you did this with ill intent so that you could take someone else's spouse or so that you could help someone else get into a relationship that was not supposed to be with this individual and you knew that this person was supposed to be in a divine connection, um, yeah, there's going to be negative ramifications to you and all parties involved um where that was the intent and you intentionally did that to like i said try to help someone else get a relationship that they they were not destined to be in that relationship or were you intervened in a relationship specifically like i'm even seeing a marriage or some type of contract or commitment with between two individuals who were true divine soulmates you are going to get negative ramifications and you and all other individuals who were having fun actively kicking up drama and doing constant black magic and spell work against this connection because i'm seeing uh, a lot of energies of this was something that was very fun or you thought this was humorous you thought it was cute you thought it was so funny um to, to step in here and do this and to negatively use the gifts that you were given to do harm instead of doing good okay so essentially abusing your spiritual position and your spiritual powers okay your spiritual influence that you have over a situation yes all of that energy is, is showing that it's going to it's it's not going to re it's not going to be the results that you desire maybe some of you are already experiencing in this now and if not then you definitely can look forward to it because i mean that's what i'm seeing and then essentially um what i'm just getting as well here too is like it feels like you were advised to like leave this situation alone or to move on or to stop what you were doing and you had ample opportunities um i feel like there was a lot of different um opportunities where you could have just either mended the situation rectify the situation or just left it alone but i feel like um you you just continue to you know participate in the ignorance okay where you should have been in a position to um do the right thing so i feel like you had an opportunity to do the right thing and to walk away from the situation um but yeah i just i just see once again um the action that you continue to sow into this all of that energy is going to negatively come back on you and, and you're going to have to deal with the ramifications of that okay um because you caused a lot of harm in this situation And you wanted to see people harmed or you wanted something so bad that you didn't care how you got it okay and and which caused harm to other individuals in this situation so um let me see if there's any other messages because i feel like the the messages keep repeating itself and this reading is kind of um <laughs> it's kind of just repeating the same messages so let me just see if there's anything else yeah, so essentially the messages keep repeating itself 
like karma is here judgment is on you judgment is on all the individuals that were involved that willingly partook in this situation um to negatively interfere and intervene with other individuals livelihoods okay and i'm just i'm getting a tower moment so like i said if you haven't experienced this already well i guess you can look forward to this occurring because maybe some of you thought you were going to get away with this got free but you're not so that's pretty much that um like i said pretty interesting reading um if you'd like to book a personal session with me, you can go to my website, www.divinelittestarot.com. Be blessed.